part one of the video series How to Crochet the Trixie Crochet Shawl Pattern and we're going to start from the top down working in this beautiful X stitch pattern increasing on the sides and in the center in three colors all the way down to the bottom of our triangular shawl and we're going to finish off with these really pretty star motifs that we're going to use as edging and fringe. You're going to need three colors of Be So Fine yarn, my 100% bamboo hand dyed fingering weight yarn. I'm using Sunkissed Yellow, Caribbean Turquoise and Passionate Plum. Let's get started. We'll be using a size G crochet hook, which is also 4 millimeter. I'm going to tie the yarn onto my crochet hook. I'm starting with sun-kissed yellow. Start with, with whichever color you wish. It really doesn't matter. And we're going to do some foundation stitches. We're going to do foundation single crochet to start with. And in case you don't know how to do that, I'm going to do that first. The first foundation single crochet starts with a chain two. So we're just going to chain two times. Now it says to do an extended single crochet in the second chain from your hook for your second foundation stitch. So you're not going to count the loop on your hook. You're going to count back one, two, and we're going to insert our hook into that chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, and then yarn over, pull through two. Doing that extra yarn over pull through one in the middle of the stitch is what makes it an extended stitch. And then it also gives us this very prominent vertical bar on the left hand side of our work. That's now the space that will work our next extended single crochet, which is how, what will give us our next foundation stitch. So we're going to insert our hook into that vertical bar on the left hand side of the work, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one yarn over, pull through two. So now we have three foundation stitches. Our first chain two counted as the first one, and then our next two extended single crochets worked into the side of our work are stitches two and three. We're going to do that again. I'm going to set it down real quick so you can recognize where we're working. We're working into the vertical bar in the stitch below where our hook is for the next stitch. So we're going to insert a hook into the vertical bar just below our work, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. And I'll do that a couple times slowly again. Okay, you're going to get a little bit of practice now. Let's do 35 total foundation single crochets for our first row. Remember that chain two counted as the first one, so when you're counting your work now, you're going to count those vertical bars, and the beginning of that chain two counts as a vertical bar as well. So, so far, I have one, two, three, four, five, six stitches done. We need a total of 35 foundation single crochets to complete round one. Okay, we've got our 35 foundation single crochets completed and now the next row is to begin doing our X stitches. Only we're not only going to do X stitches, we're actually going to start increasing our shawl as well. So we're going to have an increased stitch on the edge, two in the center, and one on the other edge. We're going to be increasing by four X stitches on every X stitch row. And if you haven't done X stitches before, you are in for a treat. This is a great way to add lace and texture and design and very long rows to make your work go really quickly. The beginning X stitch starts with a chain four and we're going to treble into the very same first stitch. So yarn over twice, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now we're going to chain seven. The first four counts as a treble, and the next three counts as a chain three. We're going to yarn over twice, and we're going to insert our hook into the two joining sections of the first two legs on the bottom of our stitch, like that. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. I'm going to set this down so you can see. Okay, the bottom two legs of our X stitch are right next to each other, but that's because this is our increase stitch. But you can still see that we have the body of an X where the two sides come to join in the center and then spread out at the top with a chain three in the middle. And that'll make more sense when we do the next X stitch, which is a regular X stitch. So we're going to yarn over four times, 
insert our hook in the same stitch as the last stitch worked, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We're going to skip the next three foundation single crochets and then we're going to work into the fourth one with a yarn over twice, insert our hook into that next into that stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now we're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We have three legs of our next X stitch completed. We're going to chain three, and we're going to complete our last leg of the X stitch by joining in the center of this stitch with another treble. So yarn over twice, insert your hook into the loops of each, the top of each of those last two bottom legs. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So basically what we're doing is simultaneously working four treble stitches in four different directions with a chain three in the middle. Isn't that almost magical? Can you believe you're getting that much out of one stitch? It's a little bit complicated, but once you get the hang of it, it is pretty easy to remember. So we're going to yarn over four times, we're going to insert a hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We're now going to yarn over twice, skip the next three stitches, insert your hook, or in, skip the next three, insert your hook into the fourth, yarn over, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through two, 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 chain three, and now we're going to yarn over twice, insert our hook into the diagonal slant bar of the bottom, the top of the bottom two legs of this X stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And I'll set that down again so you can see how pretty this looks. Aren't those cool? Okay, so we're going to do one more of our X stitches plain, meaning no more, no increases. So we're going to yarn over four times, insert our hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over twice, skip the next three, insert your hook in the fourth, yarn over, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, the bottom two legs are partially worked now. We're going to yarn over, pull through two to join them, and then we're going to yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two to finish our third leg of the X. Chain three, and now yarn over twice for our fourth leg of the X and insert into the diagonal slant bar of the top of the bottom two legs of the X stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, that X stitch is completed. I want to show you what we're actually doing in this row. Okay, so the purple section here is our beginning of the shawl in the first one. I'm using yellow this time, but here, here it is in the purple. So that first beginning stitch was where we joined both of the bottom legs of the X into the same stitch. So that was the beginning X. Then we did three regular X's. Then we did an increased X, a regular, an increased X, three regulars, and then an increased X. And what I mean by increased X is that for the bottom two legs of the X stitch, we're not, we're not using new stitches and we're not skipping three in the middle. So for the first leg of this beginning X, we're using the stitch that we finished off the last leg of this stitch, and for the second leg, we're using the same stitch that we're going to begin the first leg of the next one. So that they don't actually use their own stitches, which means it's a completely new stitch that doesn't use any other stitches. It okay, so now I'll show you how we do that first increase stitch. We're going to be working into the same single crochet that we worked the last leg of the X stitch, and we're going to be working in this stitch, which will ultimately be the first leg of the next regular X stitch. So we'll yarn over four times. Other than showing you where the placement is going, the rest of the stitch is the same as what we've done already. So we're going to work into that first, or the last stitch worked into already. It's not a new stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Whoops start that over again. 
yarn over four times, insert your hook in the same stitch that's already been worked in, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over twice, insert your hook in the very next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then we'll pull, yarn over, pull through two until we make it all the way up to the top, chain three, yarn over twice, insert your hook into both of the diagonal bars of the top of the bottom two posts of this X stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, through two, and through two. So now we have our first increase stitch done. The next stitch is going to be worked with the bottom leg worked into the same stitch as this last one. Then we're going to skip three and work into the next. So I'll show you how we do that one. We're going to yarn over four times, insert our hook into the same stitch where we already worked, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over twice, skip three stitches, insert our hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then we'll yarn over and pull through two all the way to the top of the stitch, chain three, yarn over twice, insert our hook into the top of the bottom two legs of that stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So you'll see now we have our center stitch that's not an increase, it's just a regular stitch with one increase stitch on the side of it. We're going to do another increase stitch where the first leg will be worked in this, sharing that same single crochet down here and the second leg will work, be worked there. We're going to yarn over four times, insert our hook in the same stitch as we just, re, just worked, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, Yarn over twice, insert your hook in the very next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, all the way to the top, chain three, yarn over twice, insert your hook into the diagonal bar at the top of the two bottom portions of the X stitch, yarn over, pull through two three times to finish the stitch. So now we have our second increase stitch one on either side of the center X stitch. And now we'll do three regular X stitches without increasing, which means we'll work yarn over four times, insert your hook in the very next stitch, a brand new stitch we haven't worked in, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over twice, skip three stitches, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two four times chain three, yarn over twice, insert your hook in the joining section in the middle of the stitch, yarn over, pull through two, three times. When I say the joining section, I've called it a couple different things. It depends on how you perceive it, but the top portion of these two bottom legs of the X stitch or that joining section, that vortex of where our X comes into a center. You'll see there are two diagonal lines there and that's where you want to work that last stitch. We're going to do a regular X stitch one more time. Yarn over four times, insert your hook in the next stitch, an unused stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, Yarn over twice, skip three stitches, single crochet, or work into the next single crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two four times, chain three, and then yarn over twice and insert your hook into the center of the X stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two three times. Okay, we're on our last regular stitch, regular X stitch, so we're going to yarn over four times, insert our hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over twice, skip three stitches, insert your hook in the last stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, the bottom portion of the two the bottom two portions of the X stitch are partially completed. We're going to yarn over, pull through two to join them together. Those will then be the two diagonal loops that we join with the last, the fourth leg of the X stitch. So we yarn over, pull through two all the way to the top, chain three, yarn over twice, insert your hook in those two diagonal bars in the center of the X, 
yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, through two, and through two. So, so now it will appear as though we're at the end of our row, but don't forget we're doing an increase stitch at the beginning and end of every row, as well as either side of the center stitch. So for this last stitch, we're going to do both portions of the lower, uh, both of these lower portions of the X stitch in the same exact stitch that we worked the last leg of the last X stitch. So we're going to yarn over four times, insert our hook in that same stitch that we just worked in, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over twice, insert our hook in the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, then we'll yarn over, pull through two, through two, through two, through two, chain three, yarn over twice, insert your hook in the two diagonal bars of either side of the bottom posts, in the center of the X, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, through two, through two. And so now all of our X stitches are complete, and we now have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we start.